Okay, in this second tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, load a skeleton file uh, that's already animated and then bind our own sprites onto the uh, animation to save us the work of having to do the animation ourselves. So, I'm going to start off by loading a file this time. Um, I'm going to load skeleton walk, which brings up our skeleton here, and I can uh, skip through the frames and you'll see we have the walk cycle already defined in our skeleton here. So what we need to do is we need to bind, add some sprites into this and attach them to the skeleton. So um, we have the add sprite button here. And what I've done here is I've divided the character up into a, a sprite for each limb, really each portion of a limb. Um, so we have the body, a foot, a head, the, all these things are going to be separate. And as we add them, we need to think about the layering that we're going to use. Um, whatever's going to be at the rear of the scene needs to be added first. So uh, the, the furthest back object we have is going to be the rear arm, uh, which is here. We already have one row and one column set, so it will just be a box around the sprite. We, we don't need to divide it up into any rows and columns this time. And I'll add that sprite. So here it is on the scene. I'm just going to check we're on the first frame. We are, okay. So we're going to move our arm up first of all uh, with the move tool. We're going to use the rotate tool for loads. Sort of rotate the arm so it's about the right orientation for the bone. Uh, move it again just to put it better in place. There we go. Okay, so it's roughly in place there. Um, we're going to select the bone next. We want to select the uh, hand here, cut the bone. We already have the nodes selected, we can see they're coloured red, and we have the bone selected, so we'll click here to attach those vertices, uh, the sprite, to the bone. I'll, I'll skip to another frame, and you'll see that the sprite has moved down there, because in the other frames, that's, that is where the sprite is. It isn't just going to automatically follow the skeleton for us. Um, but we've positioned it correctly there, and we've attached it to the bone. On this frame. So we set this frame as the default frame um, and now we have a new option up here where we can synchronize the frames to the skeleton um, and it will synchronize the frames to the skeleton in the default frame. So if we click up, we'll see it's moved and there we are. If we skip through the frames now we'll see the arm moves along with the skeleton. There we go. Okay. If I just play that, you'll see it plays back now. And there's our arm moving. And th this is the rear arm, by the way, so it only has one segment. Um, I just cheated for the, the animation. And the front arm has two different segments. So it's just more detail. Um, so we'll, we'll go on, we'll carry on adding sprites in here. We'll, we'll do the leg next. Um, we need the rear leg which will be here and we'll, we'll add the bottom of the leg first of all we'll drag, uh, we'll move the leg over here rotate the leg into position again we'll select the bone and we'll attach the vertices to the bone we'll add a new sprite we want the top of the leg. In fact, no, we want the foot this time. The foot for the right uh, ordering. There we go. Position it to roughly the right position. There we go. We'll select the bone we want to attach it to, and we'll attach it. And then finally, we'll add the top of the leg. Here we go. Move it up there. Be about right, I'll just rotate it round. There we go. Select our bone that we want to attach it to and click attach. Okay. So now we have the leg in position of frame one. If you see how I skipped the other frames again, the sprites are all down here because they're not positioned in the other frames. So again, we'll set this as the default frame and we'll synchronize the frames to the skeleton. There we go, 
if we skip through the frames now, we'll see that the leg is moving on with the skeleton. If we play it back, we have the start of an animation going there. Um, so we can go on doing this in, in that fashion until we've added. Next, we'll add the leg, then we'll add uh, the body, the head, uh, and the front arm. Um, I'll just I'll load one that I've already made, uh, which is here. Here we go. So now you can actually see who with all the sprites added. If we skip through each frame, you can see they all move along with the bones. go and if I hit play we see we have our completed walk cycle